Let's now turn our attention to health. Ghana's progress in the fight to eradicate rabies risks being eroded if the country does not improve its level of commitment to these efforts. The Veterinary Council attributes the slow improvement in the country's initiatives to a lack of political will from the government to address the issue. Globally, the World Health Organization estimates that 70,000 lives are lost to rabies annually. In Ghana, Poor knowledge about the disease and negligence by some pet owners in vaccinating and restraining their pets is driving the rise in cases, particularly from stray and unvaccinated dogs within the communities. A pet, especially a dog, is required to receive its first rabies vaccine shot within the first three months of its life and then annually. However, this has not been the case for many dogs, especially stray ones in the country. A visit to the La Veterinary Hospital revealed that the hospital had already recorded 19 cases of dog bites this year. Here at the facility, we witnessed a number of pets brought in for medical attention. Three-year-old Didi is anemic and receiving the care it needs. Most of them come around, oh, I want to vaccinate my dog against rabies. Like, they know, they know what they are supposed to do. But sometimes, because of financial constraints, some of them are unable to. Didi is not the only pet that has a responsible owner. I keep my dog in an enclosed environment. Sometimes in my room and then compound. It's a gated house, so I don't give it a chance to go outside. That you can mind go and get bitten by a stray dog, or also go and bite anyone outside. The veterinary service is worried about the increasing number of rabies cases caused by stray dogs, particularly in urban communities. We had 31 cases just in um, animal. And it was so sad that in September, that is the Rabies Awareness Month, we had four cases. And we showed that Ghana is still having rabies in the country. And out of these 31, 26 has been confirmed as um, human were involved and uh, some lost their lives. Rabies is by science and by practice 100% vaccine preventable, which means we need to vaccinate all our pets against rabies, not just once in a year. Though the global target for rabies eradication is 2030, Europe has already succeeded in eradicating the disease through vaccination campaigns. However, Ghana's efforts to achieve the target appear unrealistic. The Registrar of the Veterinary Council of Ghana, Dr. Kinsley Mikay Aye, blames the inability of leadership to tackle the issue head-on with proper financial commitment. We are not seeing the political will to actually control rabies or eradicate it in 2030. That is the truth of the matter. I've been a vet for about 36 years. Yes, and we have never seen the political will. But we think that with government commitment, mm -hmm. employing more people, giving us the logistics, we are sure we can be able to eradicate the rabies thing by 2030. If we don't get everything right, and, and we it means continue that with the pace there we, we are. continue yeah, with the pace we are having. And even if we are continuing with the pace, it might not be a problem for me, but the pace might worsen. Despite years of advocacy against irresponsible pet ownership, health facilities continue to record cases of dog bites on daily basis, which eventually leads to rabies infections. Perhaps there is time government takes a critical look at the veterinary industry in the country and invest more to avert all these 